toxic. I'm not out here trying to ruin careers. You know what I'm saying? For fun. These dudes got daughters. They got to provide. I, I get that. I respect that. I just appreciate truth and I don't like getting jerked around. Leon Lush is going to go down in history as one of the best interrogators of all time. But in this video, we're going to talk about not how to catch a predator, but how to catch a BSer. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health and what I like to do is pull different topics that's going on in the YouTube community to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And yeah, the mental health topic today is like, how do you deal with someone who's constantly lying to you or BSing you? Right? Like, I actually live streamed uh, Leon's interview with, um, what's his name, Parker? Parker, I think Leon accidentally called him Carter at some point. Um, but Parker from Luxury Pranks, which is this like, to catch a predator style channel, right? And, and yeah, like, Leon interviewed him. I'm like, oh my God, like, this is just brutal. Like, Leon has the patience of a saint. Like, I was streaming it and I was asking my, um, my audience, like whoever was watching, I'm like, do you have anybody in your life who just constantly lies to you and they constantly BS you? They constantly think they're getting away with it? And a lot of people in the chat said yes. I'm like, okay, well that's a good topic. Like, that affects our mental health. If you have somebody in your life who is constantly lying to you, like, we need to talk about it. Like, that's something that we need to talk about. So in Leon's video, talking to Parker, like, that, that was a weird interview, man. That was really weird. Like, I'm gonna link it down in the description. It's like an hour long. He also um, talks to someone named Charlotte who made another video about luxury pranks. But anyways, like, it was mostly him talking to this guy, Parker, and it was just weird. Like, it was hard to tell if somebody was in Parker's ear too, giving him answers to give. Um, there's a part where like Leon caught it like in the edit. What was that? It's like someone's in his ear telling him what to say and it came through on the call accidentally or something. Now, I know like with electronics and iPhones, like it could have been an echo, but like the inflection was even different. So it didn't sound like an echo at all. Listen to it one more time. That seems like a I'm weird- I'm not a judge. I'm not a judge, dude. And like the whole time, like you could just see how the guy was contradicting himself over and over and over again. I think Leon did a very good job showing the contradictions like between their DMs and, and talking. Now, this is important. So. I'm gonna share some of my experience as, you know, uh, a recovering habitual compulsive liar, but also as somebody who works in the addiction treatment field. So some of you have seen the video I made like quit enabling Bobby Burns and all that, but I work in addiction treatment. Like my job is to sniff out BS. My job is to know when people are lying to me. My job is to figure that out because I can't help somebody if they're lying to me, right? Like something I teach my clients at the rehab is like, listen, like, if you lie to me about this, like, like, I'm not affected by this. Like, I go to sleep at night, fine. And that's kind of like, you know, Leon came from a good place when he made this, but in my opinion, like, I don't know. If it was me, I don't think I would have talked to that guy Parker that long. There's no way I would have talked to that guy Parker that long. So my first suggestion to all of you is if any of you have somebody in your life who BSs you and stuff, like, like, I, I do want to just <laughs> just say again, like this is not a knock at Leon because he was doing it for the purpose of this video. But if this was a real life scenario and you're dealing with somebody like this, do not let it go on that long. Do not let it last anywhere near that long. Like if it's like a friend or an acquaintance or even a coworker, like if you catch that person contradicting themselves, running you around in circles, playing dumb, like end the conversation like end it just say okay okay thanks you know and then move on i gave props to shane for that because he just let people bs him in the series and then in the finale he kind of came out and said that so like i have people who sit in my office and they'll just bs me right they're just giving me lie after lie after lie and like i think one of the issues is i think something a lot of people struggle with is that you want them to tell the truth right and you just keep trying to catch them and get them in their contradictions and get them to invent uh to admit it almost like you're in an, uh you're trying to get a confession out of them you know what i mean but most of the time this isn't gonna happen. They're gonna continue lying and then they're gonna leave and think about how they pulled a fast one over on you. I know this because this is what I used to do. 
So not only do I work in drug and alcohol treatment, but I am a recovering drug addict and alcoholic. From a very young age, I was just always lying, okay? So something I need to make more videos on, and I don't, I know a lot of you out there, um, have the same had the same kind of childhood I did. So there's an amazing book. I'll also link it down in the description below. It's called Adult Children of Alcoholics. So one of the traits of adult children of alcoholics like myself, and I didn't even realize it until the, I read this book, is that we would we lie when it would even be easier to tell the truth, right? And that's crazy when you think about it. Like that's nuts, you know? So like for example, rather than telling somebody I'm late, I'm telling them like I'm right around the corner even though I haven't gotten ready at my house yet. Like it would have been easier for me to just tell them that I was running late, right? Like, this is something that I've dealt with a lot and like I know all of my reasons and everything like that why I would lie. A lot of it had to do with people pleasing. But aside from the people pleasing, a lot of it was to cover my tracks. Like as a drug addict and alcoholic, you gotta lie a lot. Where'd the money go? I don't know. Where did my pills go? I don't know. You know what I mean? Like I had to lie to people about all these different things. So when I'm dealing with somebody who is lying to me like that, like first off, I empathize with him, right? Now, when it comes to Parker from Luxury Pranks, he had a lot more on the line. Like this is his job, this is his livelihood, okay? But when it's somebody else in your life, you know, who is is doing this, like, you, you gotta wonder, you gotta wonder like, what is their motive behind this? What, you know, why, why are they doing this? And, and then at the end of the day, like you have to ask yourself like, is this really any, any of my business? Like, why does it matter? Like, so let's talk about people who are a little bit closer to you, okay? Like your children, right? So as I was saying this, I was like, what if my son lied to me? You know what I mean? But that's when, you know, the interrogation comes and we have to catch him in that and all that stuff. But if it's just some random person or even a friend or an acquaintance, like this is where it comes to like drawing boundaries and cutting people out of your life. If you have somebody in your life who's doing this, like quit hanging out with them. Quit hanging around them. Right? Like what value are they providing you? If you're always having to like play this game of like investigator and catching them in a lie, like what, why do you have them in your life still? Now, now I'm gonna talk about some techniques, some lying techniques that Parker used against Leon Lush. And the first one is, the first one is getting really offended. Okay. But the title, if it's not true, and if it's, it's an opinion and you're not presenting it as an opinion, is slanderous, dude. Uh, like, I mean, that's like, that's like, non, I don't think that's like an okay thing to say, dude. I think we did a lot of work. I think we've done a lot of work with charities that you can contact and ask them about that. I just think it's not right to, to use the word monkey in that sense. And that's okay. what really just didn't sit well with me. Okay. And I, and I understand that. And that's why I changed the title after talking to you and thinking about it. Okay. Getting really offended. I think I talked about this in a video not that long ago, but you can tell, you can tell how offended, right? So Parker gets so offended. Like, I can't believe, I can't believe that you would say this. Like, this is something that we deal with in drug and alcohol treatment. I'm letting you know. So for example, somebody gets clean and you know or clean and we drug test people right and then on their drug test it shows dirty it shows dirty and you bring them in the office and you say hey you show dirty you know we need to you know talk about this this is a warning or you might be getting kicked out or whatever it is right and and they get really defensive i can't believe this i've been working so hard to gain your trust uh or if any of you have an addict in your life who just got clean or just got sober um or or they've they're a chronic relapser, they do this all the time. I would do this all the time. When I was relapsing, I would get so offended. How dare you, right? Like that is one of the tells of somebody who's lying, is how offended, right? So they're not giving you straight answers, but they're using this technique. They're trying to get emotionally outraged to, and what that is, is a manipulation to try to get you to feel bad, like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm questioning this, right? And that way you back off, okay? And then the last thing, the last thing that you gotta look out for is what Parker kept doing. What Parker kept doing to Leon Lush, which was absolutely ridiculous. It's like, I thought we were buddies. I thought we were buddies. And again, this is my opinion. Okay, well like I said, I'll pay for your flights. You can come out here. You can see how everything's made. But like, I don't, I don't understand why you're trying to accuse my content. Like, I mean, these are, I mean, I don't understand what you're doing here, man. Like, I don't understand the premise of this phone call. I thought we we're going to talk and we we're just going to talk a little bit like buddies and stuff. And you're like coming at me, trying to like accuse me of all these things. Man. And then, okay, maybe not accused. Like, I know you said you're not accusing, but no, I just think that like, you're being a little harsh on me. It's like, man, Leon Lush did such a great job. I was saying like, I don't know if that show, The First 48 is still on. I used to love that show, but Leon could easily be like a homicide detective on there, right? Like this guy, like Parker was saying like, I thought we were buddies. I thought we were friends. That's another manipulation technique that we'll use, right? It's kind of like, um, it's it's kind of the same as like getting emotionally outraged. But then you said like, I thought we were close. I thought we were like brothers. Why would you do that to me? 
You know what I mean? And trust me, like, I've had to call my friends out who have relapsed or are abusing drugs or whatever it is, and they've tried to use these techniques on me. I used to use these techniques when I was in my addiction. I would use it on my, my son's mom when I was with her and be like, how dare you? I can't believe you would think that I would do something like that. You know, I'm the father of your son. How dare you accuse me of this? You know what I mean? So like, look out for that kind of stuff. Like, especially, and like, I don't know, if you want to know if you wanna know how to not fall for anybody's BS, like just save Leon Lushed's like video to your favorites and just watch it. Like you'll see how he just keeps redirecting. Now, this is difficult for a lot of people to do. Like Leon did a great job, like not even a pen and paper or anything like, Leon's got a great memory. This is something that, you know, um, I'm able to do sometimes, you know, where I catch people, like I keep like an order of the things that they've said and Leon just had that all stored off the top of his head. So he was able to catch them in all those contradictions. But what happens is, is that, you know, this was almost like gaslighting. This was almost, this is kind of, Parker was trying to gaslight Leon and Leon stayed in it. That's what it was. I just realized that as I'm ending this video. Parker was trying to gaslight Leon. Parker was trying to make Leon feel like he was crazy, right? He wanted Leon to feel like, like Leon wasn't, you know, was being the shady one and doing all these things, but Leon stood his ground. Man, I could do a whole nother video about how not to get gaslit featuring Leon Lux. Leon Lush. Leon, if you see this video, let's do a collab together about how to not get gaslit, okay? But anyways, watch his video, check it out, just see how he keeps redirecting, calling out the contradictions, mwah, superb. Or Leon, you always got a job waiting for you in the addiction treatment field, okay? But anyways, let me know down in the comments below. Let me know, do you have somebody in your life who's constantly lying and, you know, or BSing you and trying to get away with it or whatever it is? And like, let me know, like, who is this person in your life? Why do you keep them around? Is it, a, is, it, is it a family member? Is it a close friend? Is it an acquaintance? Is it a coworker? Like, let's have a conversation down below. And, or if you're somebody who had to cut somebody out of your life for this, like, let's have a conversation, okay? Anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to get extra bonus videos, be part of the Patreon Q&A, boom. Click or tap right there on that Patreon icon, all right? So thanks so much for watching. Cut the BSers out of your life, and I'll see you next time.